All right, hi guys. So uh, this is me coming, just showing you my hair. Um, I wanted to give you a good shot and better lighting um, before I go on inside and you know proceed on recording this video. But this video will be me putting in perm rods in my hair. So I really hope that you guys enjoy that. And you know, just hopefully you can see how the color has changed and a few other things are adjusting. Hey YouTube, so um, this will probably be the only part of the video that is not um, done by voiceover. I just wanted to give you a quick shot at my locks. Um, you may have seen at the beginning another shot in better lighting, but unfortunately it's kind of gross outside today, so I'm going to be doing most of this recording um, inside. But I just want to show you real quick my freshly washed locks and all their glory. They are getting long, y'all. Um, but real quick, I did wash them using um, the same Talia Wajid Black Earth shampoo that I used before, um, as well as uh, I did like multiple shampoos this time, and um, it was much, much better. And there's some things I'm changing, so I'll keep you updated on that in my two and a half year lock update that's coming up. But I did want to show you real quick, I am using vitamin E oil now, and I did go through and put a little bit on my fingertips and go all over my scalp um, and I, like I said I'll talk more about that in the other update video as well as this kind of tea tree oil combination and both of these are like not exactly pure oils it's got uh, some other things in there but it's all like very awesome healthy ingredients like all pretty much all oils so um, when they say like vitamin E or tea tree oil that's just the primary oil but overall my scalp's feeling good my hair color is doing some strange things right now, but it is what it is. So, um, yeah, I will, like I said, I'll probably talk through the rest of this video, um, and I will insert like a list of all the products that you will need to do these curls, all right? So thanks so much, and I look forward to checking in with you at the very end. All right, bye. Alrighty, guys, so I've already done a few of the perm rods, so I'm just gonna show you kind of what my process was. Uh, so the first thing I'm doing is just really dividing the locks um, into, um, you know, off into a section. I try to do an even amount because I'm doing two locks per perm rod. So um, as you can see, I'm also <laughs> in pretty desperate need of a retwist. So I'm doing that and then installing the perm rods. So once I've gotten that section, pretty much just um, separate it off where I can focus on those four locks. Um, and I'm still adjusting. Get your life, really. <laughs> All right, so I just take a little bit of water to just re-moisturize the locks. And I run that through uh, just to make sure that the perm rods will also apply very nicely. Now, after that, um, you'll see me grab my mousse. And I'm going to actually put that on my hands first and then run it through the length of the locks. All the way from the new growth down to the ends. And this is just so I can try to get a much better hold, um, you know, for what I'm doing. So you can see me rubbing my fingers together and then running it through the locks. Now, um, I'm going to split it off where I'm doing one lock at a time and I'm doing my usual retwist. I kind of twirl it around my fingers first to get a lot of those loose hairs and then I palm roll. Um, I'm way too lazy for clips, so I just use my mouth to hold the locks just because as soon as I'm done with those four, I'm going to you know, roll them on the perm rod anyway. So once again, you see me kind of twirling it around first and then palm rolling, and I'm gonna finish that. All right, so now I'm grabbing two locks and you want to take the perm rod and place it at the end of the, ro the rod, <laughs> your locks, and place it at the end of the perm rod. Wrap your ends around first, okay? And then roll upward. And I try to hold the, uh, the perm rod pretty taut. Uh, that way the locks are a little tight and go all the way up. And you'll see that I'm kind of trying to eliminate as much space as possible between the lock as I roll them up, just so I get a little bit of a tighter curl. Um, and mine aren't super tight to my head, the, the rods specifically, but um, that was about as tight as I could get it considering how many I had on my head. So once again, I'm just wrapping the ends of my locks around the rod first. And once I get that secured, then I'll be prepared to actually roll up towards my scalp. So you'll see that is what I'm doing. 
All right, so now that I've got that one done, I'll come when, probably actually just the next morning, I think that's when I'm coming back to show you what the whole head looks like and then the takedown. So I'll knock that out and be back. Thanks so much, guys. Okay guys, it's the next morning and I've actually already taken out a couple of the perm rods. Uh, I'm sorry about the bad shot right here, but um, that's not going to last forever. I think in just a minute on the video, you will see me um, kind of adjust so that you'll get a better look. Um, but basically, I slept in the perm rods after sitting under the dryer for a bit and um, now I'm taking them down. And uh, you'll see me repeat this step multiple times, but I unclipped the perm rod and I try to hold the curl as tightly in place as possible, right? Because you don't want to disturb the curl while you're taking out the perm rods. And for most of them, I was able just to literally hold the, the hair itself, the curl, and then pull the perm rod out on, of the end. Um, and it pretty much left the curl in place. You can see that near the root, it's definitely retwisted, but it's not really curly. And that's because with my curls, they really did not, um, I couldn't get them super tight to my head just because of how many um, perm rods I had in my head, as well as just, I think, um, you know, just, how do I say it? The, per the perm rods themselves just, um, I couldn't get it super, super tight, if that makes sense. Um, but overall, I still think I got a really defined curl, and uh, you'll be able to see that as I continue to take the rest of these down overall the perm rods weren't quite as uncomfortable to sleep in as I thought they would be but um, you know it's definitely not something that uh, I enjoyed per se um, and as I'm taking these down I was actually pleasantly surprised to notice that my hair was not dry at all um, in the sense like uh, negatively dry it definitely dried as far as like it's not wet anymore but uh, it didn't feel crunchy or anything like that from the mousse, so that was pretty cool. So I think at this point we're going to fast forward a little bit. And okay, so I've taken down a good chunk of the perm rods at this point. Now I'm going to go ahead and just take down these in the back. Um, and really, uh, overall, like I said, the key is just trying to disturb the curl as little as possible as you're going through this process. Um, I'd say overall to to retwist and install all of the perm rods I think it took me about probably like an hour and a half um, and the takedown took me I'd say about 20 minutes um, just because I was really trying to take my time I didn't add any initial like oils or anything to my hands because I felt like uh, my hair should have been pretty moisturized and everything and I didn't think that there'd be any snagging as well as just I've had a lot less frizz with my locks so um, you know it really worked out fine there wasn't occasionally I noticed I had to kind of adjust a perm rod or shift it a little bit but um, really didn't have too many problems so Alright guys, so that was the last perm rod, and as you can tell, my hair is really, really fluffy, um, it's really curly and bouncy, and uh, you know, as you can see as I'm doing the most in the video, I was really pleased with the results. You know, of course I'm going to kind of have to fix the front and kind of shape it the way I want it, but really the curl definition was what I was most excited to see, the fact that the rollers were actually able to curl my locks, 
and I was really looking forward to getting a chance to kind of play with them and just um, how do you say it just style them in a really cute way um, I will do my best at the end of the video since this was pre-recorded you know I obviously I've worn these curls out by now um, and if I can I'm gonna show you some pictures from how I wore the curls um, and kind of how they lasted over the days I really I mean I wrote that style to the wheels fell off if you know what I mean so I think I have pictures from like day one three five maybe even like day 12 or something like that because I ended up getting sick kind of in the middle range but um, I just put my bonnet on or my um, hairnet and made it work so please stay tuned for the videos talking more about the products that I showed you uh, my update as well as um, you know if you have time please feel free to subscribe so you can watch more of my videos as well as uh, catch any other styles maybe that I do.